What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all excited about the start of this uh, conversion and uh, I'm excited too, very nervous. First off, I wanna thank Garage23 for helping me out. Um, without them, this video would not be possible where I would not have the confidence to actually go into a transmission and rebuild it. Hope you guys are having a good day and uh, let's get into this video. We're finally gonna get this thing washed. Use some degreaser. We're gonna use just some Austin orange. It's crazy to me, because when Jimmy Oaks does it, it looks crazy, but doing it in person actually looks way <laughs> All right guys, so now that we have this trends all cleaned up for the most part, um, I wanna do a little challenge. If you're watching Garage 23's video on disassembling this, I want to show you guys how watching this and doing it is going to benefit you guys. I don't know what I'm getting into and the fact that they have a video out that you guys can go watch is something that is amazing in itself. So what you're gonna need for this job to go smoothly, um, and this is just to take everything out of the casing. This isn't um, when you actually get in the casing and you need the snapper and pliers and all that stuff. We'll go into that later. And then from there, we can go to the next step, which is replacing everything, which is gonna be um, where that press in the back covered by the Kanaka flag is gonna come in handy. So. Uh, just to get everything out of the casing, you're going to want to get a 27 millimeter bolt. You're going to do a 10 because every single bolt on this is a 10. Um, and if it's not a 10, then it's going to be a 14, which I have a 12, but let's pretend this is a 14. Well, breaking news, you're going to need both. Uh, we also have a 21 for both the sensors and then you have a small magnet. Take everything and put everything in there. Ziplocs, very important. If you have bins, even better, but, and a Sharpie. You can basically have everything labeled and ready, so when you put it back together, it's gonna to be a lot easier for you. This plate and this. Also note that on this, there is a little bit of a like circle that's not on one side and there's not one or the other. That's where the spring and the check ball goes. So just when you put it back together, make sure. Try to get the spring out and then there's a check ball down there. Take our magnet and uh, dive down in there and get the check ball. Comes the spring, there's the ball. It's gonna be like that. So it's gonna go bolt, spring, and then tensioner. So one side is definitely longer than the other and the spring is definitely longer than the other. So just keep that in mind. The center's out real quick. But we're gonna take both of them out because they're pretty loose already and might as well. Put one for sensors. sensors. Don't wanna lose the pin. So the pin right there. So this is flat against the pin. All right, what's the next step? The next step is going to be the roll pin on the shifter linkage itself. So we're going to take this out. Another thing you're going to need, you're going to use punches as a hammer. There we go. Got one roll pin there. It took way too long to get this roll pin out. I ended up having to use a 1 16th drill bit, like the bottom end of it, and actually hammer the top where the actual point is, which destroyed the bit, but that was the only way to get out this thing because none of my uh, punches worked or they weren't the right uh, diameter, so I had to use a drill bit. Thankfully, I had those drill bits laying around. Oh, jeez, okay. Well, that's off. Oh. So 
I've only got to life, so let's tilt it up. Because they're all blue lock fitted. So all those are out. Doesn't look like there's a size difference between any of these. You want to do this with a soft mallet? Alright, well, <laughs> that was easy enough for him, so let's see if it's going to be easy enough for us. There we go. Oh, there we go. Alright, Big Red, what's the next step? Uh... Alright, let's do this. And just like that. Front cover is off. Sick. Casing is off, and what are we looking at now? So I think I found our problem. That shift fork is not supposed to be that uh, that playful. Oh, okay, so I got shaved off completely. All right, guys. So we got to go out and get some tools actually today for getting this done. So we went ahead and got a gear puller set, and then we also got bearing and. Bearing separator before. Make sure that we're keeping track of everything. The spring out and this spring and the check ball as well. Not a thread sealer on this. No. This is all we're going to do, and this is going to help everything stick together. She actually took out this shifter. It's okay. We got... There's two 12 millimeter bolts that hold this selector. I'm going to take this. Actually, I'm... that just came right out. Cool. Oh, there we go. There's the roll pin. There we go. Oh, yep, there we go. Got the retainer, so that's going to go. Don't lose that. This, get this out of here. Just came loose. Oh, that came out. So let's go ahead and take this off. So we got the selector off. So, this pin right here, oh, and there's a trick ball in there too. No, I'll use that. Pin here. Some flakes. I'm just gonna get it off with these. So I guess this you can just chill right there. Oh yeah, yes off.
All right, so just to update you guys. So what I ended up, I ended up doing, or I'm doing right now, is, is we're gonna be able to um, use a lot more of the thread, which is going to help a lot because then um, it's gonna be a more secure uh, hold onto this. And I mean, this is very sturdy as it is, so there's no reason why taking, you know, machining down, so to speak. Uh, all of this isn't going to help. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this side off, finish that side off, and then uh, hopefully get the gear pulled off. So we're just gonna zip tie it off so that nothing goes anywhere, and if it does, it'll stay put, so to speak. So also, I found this. This is the this is the fifth and sixth gear shift fork that broke and um yeah you can see it broke clean off but it was also hitting a little bit so that's kind of concerning i don't know where that abrasion is coming from so we're gonna have to find that out All right, we got a gear set. Let's go. So some of the teeth look good, some of the teeth don't. And I think this is third, so. But if you guys haven't already, like this video, subscribe, and uh, comment down below if uh, you think this would be something that uh, you guys would like me to do more often. Because I'm thinking about it, and I mean, I haven't used our press app yet, and uh, I'm really excited to, to try use it. I just, I think that this would be really cool, because especially since I'll, everyone in the drift community either uses the T56, C009, or the R154 from the Supra. I think being able to rebuild these transmissions, like only if the components are available, I would do these rebuilds. To be able to take it all apart, upgrade it. Um, what I'm planning on doing, so since we're at like a natural pause for this video, we do a whole nother video on doing all the pressing and installing everything. Because what I really wanted to do with this video is show you guys that you guys can take a video, follow it to do the same result. Shout out to Red and Rachel. Um, they both are the main reason why I decided to even venture into doing this. Like I would definitely go R154 in the SC, but we're going to be drifting it. So the SC009 was kind of the best bet for the drift build. And I'll get into that in a later video of why I decided to choose the C009 over all the other transmissions. I'm not the biggest Nissan fan, but this just was a no-brainer for me, especially since I got the transmission for free. But we'll go into that later. I'm going to stop talking story, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys are looking forward to this uh, series, drop a comment down below saying uh, this is about to be a clean drift build. Because we're built, not bought. I'll uh, let you guys wait for the next episode that comes out, and I'll see you then. But never forget, guys, always stay positive and stay true to who you are. Shoots!